Week two. All right, so I won week one with 10. You both had nine. Yeah. So it's tight. Week two. How many wins week I got? Week two, I got eight. Fucking no, I had seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's six. Yeah. To be fair, it was a... It was a, it it was was a, a mad, madness mad of a week. weekend. Those six o'clock games on Sunday. Bro. Absolute madness. I think what helps <coughs> me is that... I think Chargers were the only six o'clock game to win for me. And I think maybe Seahawks if that was the early game. Wait, did Commanders win, yeah? Yeah, they, yeah did. they did. Yeah, that's the... Commanders and Chargers. Well, those are my two to win a six o'clock game. Same. Because the Patriots should have won, but they took it to oh, overtime. Oh, and, and, and Seattle. Seattle and didn't Seahawks. win. Oh, they yeah, did. Seahawks they beat did. the Patriots. They did. I played on the Patriots, yeah. So I had Dolphins to win. Yeah. They lost to the Bills. Yeah, then the Bills. 49ers lost. Yeah. I think we all had 49ers. We all, we yeah. was all blindsided by that one. Yeah. The Patriots. So you won off the Bills, basically. Yeah. Well, you beat me off the Bills. I, I think I won off the Bills and Seattle. I had Seahawks as well. Washington. I had yeah, them as well. I had them. Literally, I had Dolphins and you had the Bills. And, and the Saints killed the Cowboys. Yeah. We all had the Lions, I'm guessing, because the Bucks on. Yep. Mm. We all had the Colts. Well, yep. I had the Colts. I had the Colts. Yeah, I had them too. Because I thought, because Jordan Love weren't going to play. Yep. That's that. Yeah. That's what, everyone had the picks based off of it's logic. Just because we hadn't sp- spoke about it, yeah. No, we had logical picks though. It's yeah. just the NFL decided to do what NFL does. We had, I had the Jags, but the Browns. Yep. yep. The Browns decided to do turn up for one week. The we defense. 49ers, Seahawks. Mm. Yep. Jets beat the Titans just about. Just about. Commanders beat New York. Yeah, the, the Giants, Giants. Just about. The Rams got battered by Arizona, oh and I had the Rams. Goodness gracious oh, I me! Cardinals. I had the Rams. Fucking hell! You had yeah. the Cardinals. Yeah. I should have actually, because I that forgot. Crazy. I forgot Puka was gonna I've be been, out. I've been watching Kyler play from week one, and I've been like, I liked his decision making, so I thought he might do the same again. No, but it was just the Rams. The Rams week one game was good. Yeah, Rams were good week one. But, but I, don't I forgot really the, Rams in lost. the Rams. I think the you Rams. Don't believe in the Rams. Not too much. I've, I had them. To, I've got them to make the playoffs. Yeah, the Rams. Well, I had them, but yeah, I think that's gonna be out because Cooper Cup's out. I yep. think on IR. Four and weeks. Yeah, Puka Nakua is already out. I think they're missing a few tackles or a few defensive players from the first game. That's why I shouldn't have picked them. And to be fair, I did say I think Kyla could do well this season. Yeah, well, Marvin Harrison Jr. had a day. <laughs> Mate, I had a hell of a day. Yeah, and then um, I had the Ravens decided to just do a mad thing in the last quarter. Yeah, bun them. <laughs> don't know what they're on. <coughs> bun them. Um, and then the Eagles lost last night. Who had the Steelers game? Steelers yeah, versus... I had, I had, I had the Steelers. Steelers. Broncos, isn't it? If, yeah, any Steelers. game the Broncos are playing in, I'm picking against Chiefs Bengals. <laughs> Chiefs Bengals. Who did you guys have? I had the Chiefs. Yeah, Chiefs. Oh, yeah, shit. Chiefs. I actually didn't look and then... Texans, Bears. Texans. Yeah, Texans. I am yeah. not. I am not giving the Bears another game. I mean, they're one on one. I know, but I'm their their <laughs> first win was defense. Yeah, I'm not giving. I'm I'm not giving rookie. Uh, no, bro, no I offense. Sorry for flipping Caleb Williams, bro. His offensive line were absolutely missing. I, I'm not even. Do you know I'm not doing that because I've seen the worst offensive lines this week. This week I've seen. But I've terrible seen, offensive line. Oh, who else? Who else's offensive line was? Absolutely the Ravens' crazy. offensive line was one of the worst things I've seen <laughs> in my life. Hey, the Ravens, yeah. <laughs> John Harbour needs to be spoke about because this isn't good enough. I don't know what's going on. He's them. getting away with it. Like, Lamar will get the heat. The coaching has been absolutely dog shite for the Ravens. Diabolical. John Harbour needs to be not on the hot seat, but yeah, Doug Peterson needs to be on the hot seat for Jacksonville. Oh my goodness. Without a doubt, bro. Because he's seen as a very good coach, bro. The Jags, I think Trevor Lawrence's last seven games are 0-7, bro. Mm-hmm. Obviously, he was playing um, last season, back of last season. Injured. injured. But, but they shouldn't be 0-2. No. He's got better receivers now as well. They shouldn't be 0-2. And, and you've been paid. And my <laughs> my team, we're just we're just done. I feel oh, sorry for yeah. Brash. We're yeah. just done. I don't feel sorry for him though. Because if you watch Panthers games... No, he's been shit this yeah, year. <laughs> if you watch Panthers Bro, games, like, he's, he's not he's, been he's good. He's some mad interceptions. Bro. This year, the receivers have actually been open. Been open he's and just he's been protected bad. slightly better. Mm-hmm. He's, Bryce Young's been bad. He's been making bad decisions. I, look, I don't think <laughs> we should bench him because well, like, Andy Dalton is not the answer. But Apparently, yeah, Bryce Young's camp said they're surprised that you got benched and everything. Andy Dalton's not the answer. But Bryce, but the thing is, we need to develop quarterbacks. We're throwing man in yeah, the... Yeah, but you lot like... 
The Panthers are terrible as an organisation. Oh no, right we're the now. worst. Like everything is bad. From top to bottom. Yeah. There's nothing that's good here. Everything is bad. Jeez. Like and Micah even said it on his podcast, like the young quarterbacks are not given a chance to actually grow. They're just throwing in the deep end. Because if if yeah, if all the quarterbacks started how Peyton Manning started with the most interceptions, I think, in NFL history yeah. in his rookie yeah. yeah they'll no, they'll be out of the league, bro. And he had he had options. <laughs> Peyton Manning had options. They'll be out of the league exactly. in this current day, bro. So But now uh, I don't know what's going on. The, the Panthers organization is finito right now. Yeah, it's we need we need a whole rebuild. When I say I rebuild. For price, man. But when I, I say like, rebuild, the, the owner needs yeah. to go. Yeah. We need a new owner, new and new everything. The whole, Im- I feel like when Cam Newton was here, he covered, a- he papered over a lot of the cracks that were actually going on. Because a since- lot of great players or coaches tend to do that. But, but you know why? Because since we, since uh, Ron Rivera's left and Cam Newton went there, mm. the organization's gone one way down. Yeah, no, Luke true. Keekley and all them. Like when we had players, we were a- we were like, an organization. Your store, your core players could hold things together. Yeah, basically. Olsen yeah. and them sort of players. Yeah. We don't have anyone like that anymore, and you can see. We're being, we've been looking for it, but we're just going for anything and nothing's working. Where? Andy Dalton, I look at I, I, Andy Dalton, I, I, I like him. It's probably just to take Bryce out the firing line for a bit. But it's not going to help. Sometimes, we're not going to win next week. Yeah, might just have to leave him in there, man. We're not going to win next week. Bruh. I understand the path that you're on. This is ex- exactly. No, there, to be fair, there's some teams so far, before we go into week three games, there's some teams that are looking really good and some that are just looking bad. Like mm. the Bucks, they're they're losing players through injury, but whoever comes in on defense for Todd Bowles performs, they're doing well, bro. Yeah, they're looking good. They're they doing perform. Well, looking Baker's good. a fighter, bro. Yeah, Baker's my guy, bro. Shake and bake, baby. Big up Sam Darnold as well. <laughs> Aye, the Vikings. Vikings. You have the Vikings, don't you? In your picks, I'm sure Dej had them. You know, mm. I think we put them all third or fourth. I had them last. Me and you had them last. Did I have them last? Because we both said Sam Darnold. I said like, you can switch between third and fourth Vikings. Yeah, and it's just not going to mean anything. You had the Vikings last, but now the Bears are going to the damn bottom. I still don't trust the Packers fully. I need to see the, like how they'll be with Jordan Love fully. Mm. I, I trust the Packers more than I trust any type of Bears. I don't know, man. <laughs> 100%. Because I, cause the Bears actually got a defense to rely on. <laughs> And I guess so. Bro, but they were very good against the, the offense. Ain't created anything. They were. I know, yeah. but like, that's the only thing. But they've still got weapons on offense. Mm. Whereas, like, there's some teams that their offense don't create shit, but they've not got good players. Right, like, right Caleb. Right. This is growing pains. Yeah, yeah. Like, if the defense carries them, because their defense is very good, bro. To hold mm. the Texans who are high flying to what 19 points or whatever, yeah. only one touchdown. It, like, it's bro, a, yeah. Like true. the Bears could have actually won that game on the final drive. Mm. <laughs> so, but yeah, the quarterback play isn't good enough to win the game. Yeah, mate, he's two games in, man. I I know, I know, and you know, you but know he's, he's a rookie, man. He's like, got, and you can see what he was trying to do. Yes, like CJ Stroud made some crazy good throws on the run. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Caleb was trying it, but Couldn't it just didn't it. come off. Yeah, like I think one or two went to a receiver or something, but it mm-hmm. just slapped, bro. Like. Caleb, you know the talents there, do you yes. know what I mean? Yes. I'm not concerned to think, all right, he's reading things wrong. With rookies, they just tend to sometimes want to overdo it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, Caleb, I'm not too worried about yet. Yeah. I think it's too early to be worried about. You, yeah, I guess so. So, but yeah, no, there, there's been some, some real, real good teams. Yeah. And the Falcons getting that big win last night. The NFL's open this year, you know. It's nice, yeah, it man. goes either way, man. I'm and happy to see Jaden Daniels, though. Yeah, he's get that win, man. QB. My only concern for him is he's throwing. Like, he reverts to his legs quick. Yeah. Wait. Do you know what I mean? In terms of, there's times I think, wait in the pocket. Mm, or, stand there and yeah. take the hit and still make the throw. Or not even take the hit, analyze the pocket. Like, right. Joe Burrow, he done it a couple times against us, yeah. And I was like, bro, like, that's why they say he's got the best pocket presence. Mm. It's like, boom, boom, boom. It's also because he's less athletic. Yeah, mm. but he was yeah. just bouncing. Yeah. He weren't actually moving crazy. Mm. And I'm like, bro, them man, they're naturally composed, didn't it? Right. Do you know what I mean? And sometimes the running quarterbacks or the quarterbacks with the athletic ability. They, they just don't. think, oh, let's take off. Yeah, because I can. Gap, yeah. I may as well go for it. So, But you don't want to take that away from them, though. No. Because when, they, when that gets taken away, <coughs> you end up doing what Lamar did in the AFC Championship game and you're standing there trying to throw the ball and you're thinking, bro, just run. Mm. 
Do you get what I mean? So you kind of want that still, that thing where it's, okay, instinct takes over. I think Kyler Murray but had a good balance of that. I think, your, right. I yes. think your instinct needs to take over. Like, obviously he's the standard bearer. He hasn't started great, great season, great. But it's like Mahomes. Mahomes knows when to run. Mm. He only runs when he really needs to. <laughs> yeah. But he's also, always, his first thing is always to throw, but obviously he's a great passer. So that's the different. thing. Yeah, that's the thing. He's, and he, he can make a pass out of anything. And he, and you got the best safety blanket in the league. Yeah, I think out of the <laughs> running quarterback, athletic running ones, Kyler Murray's probably the best arm out of all of them. In terms of throwing arm, yeah, I don't, I'd say Lamar's the most accurate, maybe. Because you know Lamar's arm is crazy. Yeah, it's very good. Like, but like when you see, like he actually flicks the ball sixty yards. That's sometimes. what this like, is a dart. Yeah, you look yeah. at him and think, bro, he's just throwing that ball sixty yards. And Kyler's he a his wrist. crazy athlete. Bro. He is, but the only thing with Kyler Murray, he's so small. That's no, what makes him even better the athlete. Because remember, mm. he could have gone number one baseball. No, he could have. <laughs> in in his game, yeah. I was I was I was watching I was, well, I was watching the highlights anyway, and I was just thinking, all of these, he's he's quick, but his decision making is good, because even when he was dancing around, even when he was dancing around, and he still managed to throw it to Marvin Harrison Jr. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know how many people he skipped by then skipped through then? Mm -hmm. but he, 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 he didn't. He didn't run. He didn't. He's running to left and right. Yeah, yeah. Running but left. he knows how to use his size, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, small quarterbacks, they're never seen as good. Do you know what mm. I mean? Like, Kyler actually knows right. how to hide himself. And because he's very agile as well. If you flip it and you go to Tua now. But yeah, Tua's but got no athletic ability. Tua's not, not athletic. As in, like, so different. that man cannot run. He needs to learn to slide. He needs to learn to do a lot of things, but... Wonder might be not playing football again. No, it's peak. Because they got Tyler Huntley now. Yeah. And, and that's he's a, a good real backup. dual threat quarterback. He's a good backup. He's Lamar so, Jackson, basically. He's, yeah. He's what Lamar Jackson would be. He, well. He's good enough to get the Dolphins a certain amount of wins. Yes. Obviously, if things click. But yeah. Yeah. Like, the but, two thing, the retirement thing's real, bro. But do you what, think what, Kyler what Murray's... You think he should retire? Sorry. No, no, go on, go on. You think... To which um, retire? Yeah. Nah, I don't. Personally, no. I don't say anyone should retire from the sport. You know, there's been you've gone through so much to get to where you are. Yeah. But with this many concussions, you you sit there and go, boy. The next time you get hit in the head, it, that could be it. Is it five or eight? No, I think this is the third. This the is the NFL third in the NFL. Fourth. I think he had three in one year, in the 2022 season. He had last year. No, he had none last year. He played every single game last year. Last season, yeah, two are. Yeah, play every. It was twenty twenty. Are we? Are we no, nah, I'm sure. No, nah, Joe. Last year was the year, bro. He was getting knocked out left, right, center. Last year he played every single game. That's why he got paid. Are we sure? Yep. It was twenty twenty two because it was the first. It was against the Bills in twenty two that it happened the first time, and then they cleared him to play the following week. Yeah, I remember that. But why do I feel like that was last year? No, nah, two played every game last season. Uh, I feel like that was last year. So bro, I remember them talking about a nightcap last year. Like, nightcap's only been around for a year. Bro, two had played every game last season. Check the statistics. <laughs> <laughs> Check the statistics. Do you bro. think he should retire, Joe? I don't think it's for me to say. Um, if he was a family member, I'll be like, bro, re you have to really consider. It. He has yeah. to consider all options. However, I man, actually played all the games. But I felt like he got concussed, even though he played all the games. Because <laughs> <laughs> that first uh, twenty twenty two, yeah, I think it was like week three or four against the Bills, and then they cleared him, and he played the following week, and then he got a proper concussion. When they shouldn't have cleared him, then he got his final one towards the latter part of the season. Yeah, I remember. and that's when the, con the concerns happened. And then last summer, he that's when he got a bit bigger. Yeah, he said he had the jujitsu classes, jiu -jitsu to, um, all that stuff. Practice. And it's like, like obviously, <laughs> like in the, the heat of the slide, moment, mm. in the heat of the moment against the Bills, you're losing badly. You want to show your team you're fighting. And I'm like, bro, why? And like, it's just God's weird way of just saying it happened to be Demar Hamlin. That you've gone into his chest. Yeah. Like, helmet first. And I'm like, bro, one, you should slide. He definitely yeah, yeah. didn't know where he was first down. But still, bro, like, you you know what you've gone through. Yeah. Obviously, he at the moment, it's easy to say it from sitting on the couch. But, like, fam. And it wasn't even like... It wasn't a mad hit. It wasn't a mad hit at all. It was a light. And yeah. I'm like, bro. And it, and it just happened to be the more I had. Like, fam, it's just... 
It's yeah. mad. So if that can happen oh, to you, like Damar that. Hamlin's one is a once in a lifetime thing. What happened to him a couple of years ago? Because yeah. he actually died on the pitch and came mm-hmm. back to life. Mm. So, <laughs> like, bruv. Yeah, these concussions. You can't keep playing around. You're playing a sport where you're going to get hit. Yeah. So you can't keep playing around with this head trauma stuff. Because... Bro, even Dion... Sorry to cut you off. Dion Dawkins for the Bills. He said after the game, he was like... During the game, he was like, to a slide, to a slide, to a slide. Mm. This is your opposition team that are saying this. Mm. In, in the heat of battle, bro. Yeah. And the thing is, he's dived his head first into someone. It's not like people are... You know how they used to tackle Tom Brady? Yeah. yeah. That's how people are attacking him. Like, we're not trying to kill you yeah. anymore. We're just touching you. But he, he's kind of caused it. And if, you're, and if it's that little head trauma that's causing this... Yeah, because he actually has, like... Protective gear on it, you know, like the after effects. I don't want to be rude. The but knockouts, like, like, fits, like yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms of like his body goes stiff. Yeah, his body. Uh, yeah, it's like bro. He, he has real like real life like boxing knockout. Effects. Yeah, he has trauma reactions yes. straight away, bro. Mm. And they, I, I can't remember what I was listening to, but like most, I think it was Ryan Clark speaking about the following day. Like he said, most um, concussions that he he said he had bare in his career. Like nothing he'd ever, his body never reacted like that, innit? Mm. And then they were speaking about like the sciences and stuff like that. And I was just like, bruv, it's just nuts. Like as as a fan, I, I love watching the creme de la creme at, at their apex mm. because it's so hard to get to that level. Right. <laughs> so like as a fan, selfishly, I don't want him to retire. Mm-hmm. But then. Well, we know he's not going to. Definitely yeah. To be this is I cool. understand if he doesn't. Yeah. And oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I obviously yeah, understand if yeah. he does. Mm-hmm. So. Well, we know, we know he's probably not going to. It's just a case of everyone's concerned for his well-being. Yeah, yeah. And you, man are not going to hit you because... Yeah. And they hit your battle. You're yeah. going to just hit him. Yeah. If you're and, on the fields. And the thing is, they're not going to try and hit him in the head. But accidentally, if their arm grazes... Think about how light that hit was. If their arm grazes his head and he gets knocked out from that, you're yeah. going to have to call it a day soon. Or if they're actually rushing the quarterback. This is the thing. Yeah, and him himself, he shouldn't be leaning with the head like that. No, nah, but even if he drops and hits, he got concussed from hitting his head one time. Mm. Yeah. So well, he's playing a season, dangerous, dangerous game. Obviously, he worked on it last summer. Last season, he had the quickest release. But I don't know if he can work on concussion. No, you like working on things to alleviate. Obviously, you can't. You definitely can't work on that. That would just limit you as a player. Though. Yeah, once you've been knocked out once, it's easier to be knocked out. Yeah, yeah, Gara. So. That's your ceiling now. Yeah. Like, every time someone slaps you in the head and he's wearing head gear, you're, you're likely to go. Yeah. Even when they, you know, when they just slap you on the head, like, Ready to go, boom. Yeah, yeah. bro, when NFL boom. players do it and they start, yeah. when they're hacked up, I'm like, bro, chill. That might take him out. <laughs> yeah, like, they could chill. do. No, next time I'm going to do it till I'm we're like, going to be gone, yeah, bro. You yeah, can't yeah. be messing around you with that. You can't do that to him. No, you, nuts, you have to you be right. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to be, ah, oh, it's mad, but you got to be careful with well, it. What I'm saying is, from just these first two weeks, with certain injuries and stuff, some of my picks <laughs> for, yeah, for teams to either win the division or make the playoffs. Got to change. Yeah, yeah well, got to, got to lock in, but our fans got to understand. <laughs> mm. I just arrived. <laughs> Get me. Get me. Um, My bills are moving, though. I'm happy for that. 